Hi everyone and welcome back to a new episode of Java Interview Questions Made Easy. Today we are going to discuss about the JVM. Now JVM stands for Java Virtual Machine. But before we answer the question what is the JVM, we kind of need to understand what is the compilation phase and um, how do computer programs get translated from source code to machine code. Now, if you talk about native computer programs and native computer programming languages like C or C++, this transformation is one step only. So you have the source code and then you compile it and you get machine code. And machine code is dependent on the operating system, is dependent on the uh, CPU architecture. And this of course means that if you want to, if you have a piece of software and you want to deploy it on multiple platforms, then you, you need to compile it multiple times. And while this has you know, advantages in terms, of perform in terms of performance, it's not really portable. So it's very difficult to uh, deploy this code on uh, a lot of platforms. Luckily for us, Java doesn't have this problem. And this is because of the JVM. Now you can visualize the JVM as a sort of man in the middle. Now we have the source code, which is you know Java code. Now when we compile it, we don't get machine code directly. When we compile it, we get a sort of intermediate language, which is called bytecode. Now the JVM knows how to load this bytecode and transform it into machine code. While the machine code is of course different based on the platform, the bytecode is the same regardless of the platform that we are using. And this makes Java code extremely portable because the JVM only needs to understand bytecode, which is unique across platforms. If you have, a, for example, if you have a Linux machine, you have a JVM built for Linux, which reads bytecode and outputs it to Linux machine code. If you have a JVM on Windows, it reads the same bytecode and it transforms it to the corresponding machine code on Windows. Let's take a look at an example. So we have a simple Java program. We wrote two uh, Java classes. If we compile them, then we will get the so-called class files. Now, the class files are, you know, files that contain bytecode. And for each Java class in our application, we will have a corresponding class file. They're usually located inside the target directory of your project. Now that we have these class files, we need to load them into memory and execute them. And this is where the JVM comes into place. Uh, the JVM has two main components, uh, one which is the class loader, and this one extracts the class files and loads them into memory, and another one which actually executes uh, the bytecode. Of course, it's a very simplified version of the JVM because obviously the JVM has uh, more components than this, but you know the main steps, you know the class loading and the execution, um, kind of are the ones that you need to focus right now. And if you look at an example, this is Java code on the left, bytecode on the right. Uh, you can see that, you know, they are both human readable. I mean, if you look at the bytecode, you can certainly understand it. And you see here that, you know, okay, this bytecode is compiled from uh, a Java file called address.java. And then, okay, we have, a you know, string city and we see here Java length string, okay, so, uh, it's semi-human readable. You probably won't want to write code into this, but uh, I just wanted to show you, uh, you know, a transformation of Java code to bytecode. And of course, if you want to play with this thing, uh, if you have IntelliJ, you can go to a Java file, click view, and then view as bytecode, and then you will get the corresponding bytecode for your class. Okay, so I think now we're ready to give a definition for the JVM. So based on what we've seen, the JVM is an abstract machine that enables a computer to load and run a Java program. And I say it's an abstract machine because it's not something physical. No? It's a software program that runs in your operating system and does just that. Now the main responsibilities of the JVM, so the first one, it has to load bytecode and to transform it into executable code. The JVM also provides an environment for executing the bytecode. So the JVM, you know, reads the bytecode, but it also needs to execute it, to execute your program. And, you know, uh, another important, you know, thing that the JVM brings 
uh, to us as developers is the memory management and garbage collection. You know, all of these things are uh, the GVM's responsibility. So right now, I think we have a pretty clear understanding about the JVM. If you like this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to share it with your friends. You can see more software development tutorials on my blog at www.romaniancoder.com. Thank you very much for watching this video. Have a great day and write amazing code. Goodbye.